So, Tio Fomo Lopez, you know, he struggled with Nakatina a little bit, as expected. You know, Nakatina had height and reach advantage. And Lopez got to realize at the highest level, you ain't finna knock everybody out. You know, the, they, they take a better punch. They have better experience. They know how to um, take the steam out of, a sh out of the shot. So Tio Fuma Lopez, man, he, Lopez has a lot to work on, you know. And, and I'm glad he had a, you know, he, he struggled with a Nakatina right now because you don't want to face Lomachenko with a, with the experience he has at this moment, especially not going 12 rounds. And the fact that he went 12 rounds with Nakatina is actually good news for him because now he knows he got stuff to work on. You know, um, Tia Foma Lopez, like Andre like was saying, you know, he, he relies on the shoulder roll too much, in my opinion, because, see, Floyd Mayweather doesn't just go to the shoulder roll right away. What he do, he actually, you know, goes in the high guard first and after a while you know after he gets your timing after he sees how fast you are then he start using the shoulder roll to counter but see the shoulder roll comes with just you ain't gonna be stationary and use the shoulder roll like floyd mayweather if y'all notice floyd mayweather moves um he doesn't do the same move again over and over like if he does the shoulder roll one time best believe the next time you come at him he finna do something else the third time you come at him he finna do something else you know he doesn't give you the same look over and over again and i just start to realize people just think floyd mayweather all he do is just do the shoulder like that and it's like bro it's way more to it than that you know and like i said floyd mayweather with his experience and all that he still take a couple rounds to get the fighter timing down his speed and all that before really start applying the Philly shell, the Philly shell defense. And that's a defense that's been passed on for generations. So Tio Fomo Lopez, I believe in my opinion, you know, he got the goods obviously, but I feel like he's rushing himself. Um, you know, I always like a, a good trash talker that back up what he say. But anyway, but anyways, subscribe below. I said, if you fight Komei next, I mean, shit, that's not an easy fight, man. And we'll see if he's really ready. But I've seen a lot of mistakes, um, you know, really just fundamental mistakes. Um, he obviously doesn't have Prince Nassim Hamed type of power where, you know, he hits you one time, he finna put you in a coma or Deontay Wilder type of power. His power ain't on that level, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, his power is comparable to like an Errol Spence at 147. Uh, Errol Spence had a, has a better snap to his punches. But Lopez, you know, he got the goods, like I said. The only problem he has at this point is that he relies too much on the power right now instead of setting it up and putting punches together. See, what make Errol Spence so effective if he was fighting a guy with such a high advantage, he was just pressure him. You know, Roy Jones, I believe it was Floyd Mayweather or Roy Jones, one of them said this, you box the the, 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 the banger or the brawler and, and, you know, and brawl the boxer. So Lopez got put in that situation where he fighting a fighter that's way taller than him, got way more reach. So what do you gotta do? You gotta do what Errol Spence does when he's on attack mode. But Errol Spence keep his high guard up, you know, uh, obviously, he doesn't have the head movement of Mike Tyson, but his defense and parrying shots and picking off shots is on point. So his fundamentals is on another level. You know, he can't pressure his opponent while having his left hand down and trying to shoulder roll. That's not how you pressure your opponent. You know what I mean? So he got a lot to learn from, especially from this performance. And like I said, you know, unless you're Roy Jones, where you can outbox the boxer and 
and really outbang the banger because he was just that talented then. So like I said, you know, he do need to work on a lot of things before fighting Lomachenko. He said he struggled with the weight or they was trying to throw that excuse out there, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, it's just that he fought a guy who had a style and, and attributes that gave him problems. I mean, just face it, you know, the guy is really built like a 147 pounder. You know, he's bigger than Lopez. So if Lopez struggled to make the weight, I know his opponent even struggled to make the weight even more. So it ain't the fact that he struggled to make more. So it ain't the fact that he struggled to make the weight. It was just, he, he was fighting a fighter that belonged in the ring with him. You know what I mean? So obviously he looked bad. He got a lot to work on. And that's why in my opinion, Shakur Stevenson is the best prospect in the game. You know, uh, even Devin Haney, I believe he's the second one. However, Shakur Stevenson is on top of his game and, and he proved it. You know, every time he step up, it, it don't seem like he stepped up. He still, it seemed like he faced in the same competition. So imagine when he really get motivated when he get the fights he wants. So like I said, with um, Lopez, he got he got to tie things up because he didn't, he already talked himself into a fight with a champion and then with Lomachenko next. So man, you got to show up or show, and show out. And I mean, it ain't like he could do anything else at this point. So Lopez, in my opinion, he has to get, Forget having a vacation since his a world title's coming up. He need to go ahead and um and stop preparing right now. You know, fixing his mistake. Like I said, it ain't like it's just simple mistakes in my opinion. You know, um, taking the jab away. Salute Aki, but um, like I said, you know, he lucky his opponent actually started again throwing the jab because if he stayed consistent with throwing that jab all night, Lopez would have had a lot of problems. Obviously, he countered it every in every, but I don't think that's why uh, his opponent stopped throwing it. I just felt like he was looking to, to land power shots, but see, the jab was setting up everything you was throwing. The right hand, it was hiding the right hand. And you started doing what Lopez was doing, which is not throw enough jabs. And what I, I didn't like from Lopez that he wasn't throwing combinations. It, his opponent too, actually, his opponent had a better chance of throwing a jab to the body because he was already landing and thick is complete and come on top right hand. See, when you throw your opponent off, you already land and come on top with the right hand. So he will actually been able to hurt Lopez like that. And Lopez could have did the same thing. Like I said, um, you got to have confidence and, and timing and you got to set it up. Like I said, Lopez wasn't setting up, setting anything up. Big LT, what's goody, bro? What's goody, Aki? Just showing love from the LB, LDBC all day. LDBC, shout out to the LDBC and new media. You know, we doing our thing, huh? They can't deny us, they know what time it is, shit. It's time for the haters to, to get a new watch. Because they can't keep up with us. They can't keep up with the time. But like I said before, at the end of the day, Shakur Stevenson proves that he the number one prospect. Shakur Stevenson proved that he is right, that ESPN is biased. They not pushing him. They pushing Lopez more. And, and you know what I mean? Like, I ain't hating on Lopez. Lopez doing his thing, obviously. But at the end of the day, how y'all not gonna promote the better talent? You know, the, the talent that you ain't afraid of. You, you could put Shakur Stevenson with anybody. I don't care who it is, he finna win. You know, he ain't ducking no, no smoke. He wants all the smoke. So how y'all not gonna promote that guy? You know what I mean? But it, it is what it is, you know. At the end of the day, they can't fight for these guys. At the, at the end of the day, these guys got to get in the ring and fight for themselves. So Shakur Stevenson will prove himself time and time again till they can't deny him anymore. I said, my man says Square Business. 100. You already know. You already know what time. But um, like I said, with the, um, with the Lopez, 
you know, Comey gonna give him a lot of problems. If he doesn't tie tie tie, tie his game up and quit using that Philly shell too much because he's getting hit with too many right hands. His defense, his defense ain't a Floyd Mayweather defense. It ain't even, a, I, I don't even think he got like a, um, an Errol Spence defense. You know, he, his defense kind of questionable at this moment. So versus Comey, we'll see, you know. Like I said, he better use his jab versus, versus Comey and throw sharp combinations unlike, unlike this fight. I feel like he might box Comey more because Comey got a lot of power. And then he, if he pulls that off, even though I feel like this is going to be a tough fight, then the Lomachenko fight going to be even a harder fight. So we'll see. And if he move up in weight claiming he can't make the weight anymore, then that's on him. But I feel like that's kind of a cop out. You know, you out here using Lomachenko name, saying you're going to do this, you're going to do that. And you saying he moving from a hotel to a different hotel because he don't want to see you, then hey, you know, when the time comes, shit, you gotta take it. De Devin Haney, well, what Lopez? Yeah, I, I think Devin Haney, you know, he already called out Lopez. He actually wanted to fight him next, but Lopez went a different direction. And you can see why, you know, I. Home. And when it comes to the inside work, like, I really don't see anybody uh, dominating the inside. Uh, Pacquiao obviously has the upper hand because he's a shorter fighter with a faster hand speed, but uh, neither fighter has good control in the inside and good positioning. Like, uh, 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 what, for example, uh, Errol Spence, you know, or even a Keith, uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, they got good control in the inside. They know how to control your hand. I say Pacquiao is the better of the two when it comes to the inside as far as control. Uh, Keith Thurman is just awkward. He likes to keep stay in the outside. He likes to throw weird shots, wild shots, then makes a awkward defensive mood afterwards to get out the way. You know what I mean? So that's just his style. You know, the way he throw a wild right hand, then dips to the right or to the left awkwardly. To the left awkwardly. His his head and body positioning being. You know, you don't expect it. You got to read Keith Thurman before countering him. You know what I mean? So that's why you got to counter Keith Thurman to the body, not to the head, especially early on till you get his rhythm and how awkward he is. So Pacquiao has to counter Keith Thurman more so to the body than to the head because the body won't move. Even if your body could move. I mean, obviously your body could move if you're using footwork, but you know where your body finna be, but the head is kind of hard to catch obviously so um, I got Keith Thurman though I feel like he's a younger fighter with you know the better timing at this point I don't, I don't believe in Pacquiao timing at this moment so we'll see but as far as you know getting back to the topic with Lopez um, now I'm very interested in the fight with Comey now you know now I really want to see that fight I want to see what the boy got to offer you know he's very young obviously he's gonna improve but what he showed me last night, man, Comey gonna give him the work. You know, let's not forget Comey, he knocked out Beltran. Comey, um, a lot of people felt like he beat Easter, you know, so Comey, he, he, shit, he the truth. People sleeping on Comey. So I ain't even surprised if Comey actually beat Lopez. I do have Lopez winning if Lopez put everything together like he should, but Lopez has definitely has a lot to work on from his defense to his offense to putting punches together to his mindset. He cannot go in the ring having the mindset, I'm going to hit this dude once and he's going to be out of there. That's how it seemed to me last night. It seemed like he was like, okay, he was looking for that perfect punch. That's not how it works at this level. You got to win round, round by round. Then if you up and you, you want to start doing that, it's all right. But like, you know, you can't do that to, to the opponents at the highest level. Like I said, Lopez does not have a Prince Nassim Hamed type of power. Lopez does not have a wilder right hand. So he cannot go in the ring looking for one punch. He got to put punches together. He got, uh, he a, a boxer puncher, 
but he more like a Canelo with his power. You know, he could hurt you. He, his power is respectful, but at the time, at the highest level, especially if he moves to 140, he gonna start fighting guys that's bigger than him. When you start moving up in weight, these guys can take your punches better. So he gonna start. To, he gonna have to rely on his um, boxing skills, which he has. But like I said, that's why Shakur Stevenson, in my opinion. He's the number one because he always relies on his skills, no matter what. And in my opinion, the fighter with the better defense will always win. You know, well, not always, but most of the time, obviously, you know, if he has more attributes than that, you know, not just defense all day. But like I said, uh, Lopez, it's not like he has no defense, but he was very vulnerable to that right hand. And it ain't, like, it ain't even like... Lopez, like his opponent last night, he even abandoned the jab. And he was still able to land right hands every now and then. Yeah, yeah obviously he had reach. It had to be just like Bruce Lee said. You got to be like, just like, you got to be like, just like water, able to adapt. Now, when you in a bottle, the water what? It turns to a, a, a bottle shape. When it's on the ground, it's flat. You know what I'm saying? It's great. It's flat. You know what I'm saying? It's great. So Lopez, you had. I feel like he has it. I don't think like he, I just think he uh, been thinking power too much in my opinions because he been knocking out his opponent. But at the C level, you you gonna be able to knock out all your opponents when you fight and see. Like I said, man, this shit keep taking me off, man. I'm getting tired of the connection over here, but like I said, you got to be able to counter, and more importantly, you got to be able to adapt while you're thinking in there, you know, because, you know, you're going to get hit. If you swim, you're going to get wet. If you box, you're going to get hit. So I still believe in Lopez at the end of the day. I still feel like he got a lot of confidence, and that's always a good thing, but having too much confidence, be able to be, you know be confident it's better <laughs> obviously we can all agree you know kind of like when anthony joshua according to rumors when he had um when he was panicking and shit it's better having confidence than being than panicking before a fight so at the end of the day more power to him but like i said at the end of the day he better off knowing his good and bad, you know, and working on it, then having false confidence all day, you know, because I, I think Lopez, you know, he believe in himself, and that's always a great thing. Um, but, you know, to talk, to back up the shit he been talking, he gonna need to do way more work than he been doing, and that's that that has to be done in the ring. But he is young, obviously he's gonna learn, and he, he's definitely gonna get better. But uh, he already. He already at the highest level now. It's too late to back down now. You know what I mean? Like it ain't like he could take a couple more tune-up fights. Um, the the big fights in the horizon. He finna fight a champion in his division, which is Komei, and then he finna fight a top two or three pound for pound fighter. You know, so that ain't no easy task on no one. I don't care who you is. I don't care if you are Devin Haney. I don't care if you're for, if you're a Lopez. So. Uh, Lopez, it ain't he don't got time to, to you know to take his sweet time and get polished because he stated he wanted the, the Lomachenko fight. So you get what you ask for. So it is what it is at this point. But like I said, I still believe in him. I don't think he could beat Lomachenko. You know, I feel like that's too much for him at this moment. I do believe he could pull off the Komei fight. I believe he got the skill and the amateur background. I feel like Komei. Even though he got a lot of power, but he also got a lot of flaws too uh, that Lo Lopez could capitalize on. And, and uh, Lopez got good counter ability, and he seems to have a good chin. So Komei will do one thing for sure: he will test that. He will. He will, he's gonna test that ass for sure. He's gonna test that chin. So if Lopez comes up on top of, on that fight, especially if he looks spectacular and surprises all of us then the the Lomachenko fight just got that much bigger 
But if he struggled with Comey, then he might need to think twice before taking that Lomachenko fight because Lomachenko ain't no joke. You know, Lomachenko is an A-level fighter. Uh, he might be even elite, you know, so we'll see. Like I said, at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, it comes with experience. It comes with wisdom. Andre Ward and Bradley, I uh, believe that Lopez got exposed. Uh, you know, I'll say, you know, I, I, I co-sign what Andre Ward said. I don't know if I co-sign what Bradley said, you know, but I do know, I do see why he's saying that. You know, compared to Shakur Stevenson, how he looked, and compared to how um, Lopez looked when he fought a top fighter, a top 10 fighter at his division, obviously Shakur Stevenson looked spectacular compared to a Lopez. Excuse me. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Shit. But I believe just that Lopez... He better off um, not taking the Lomachenko fight. That's 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 my opinion. I feel like, okay, you can't make the weight. You feel like you're not going to be able to make the weight if you don't fight Lomachenko in two fights. Then you better off not fight Lomachenko than get beat up by Lomachenko. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, I'm not going to... Like, if a fighter want to skip the tune-ups or the, 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 the fights that's going to make him more polished and go straight to the top... More power to you. I give you even more respect. But one thing for sure, you got to be able to win. You know, just be, just performing well ain't going to cut it. You know, everybody respected Mikey Garcia for fighting Errol Spence. But we all know what happened to Mikey Garcia afterwards. Like, he, everybody just laughed at him. Like, all that, oh, I believe in myself. He hit harder than Lomachenko than any again knocked out by the Lomachenko, you know, it won't be a good look, either way you look at it, you know, so, uh, Lopez, I wish him all the best, I believe he a great talent, I believe we need him in the sport, you know, obviously, A.B., about bullshit, you know, about billion, he like to say, but, you know, we, obviously, A.B. couldn't back up a lot of things he said, he said, you know, I'll fight with Pacquiao, Ain't no damn way I'ma lose this fight. Gee, you think I'ma fuck up a hundred million dollar payday after this shit? Hell no. I'm finna whip pack your ass. All that talk, right? And then after the fight, he talking about, you know I beat that boy. You know I beat that boy. He turned to a meme. <laughs> like, bro, you know you ain't beat no pack out, bro. Like, you know, talking about, even the people in the hood know you lost that fight. Even the people in the hood know you lost that fight. They ain't even mad at you. They started claiming Pacquiao. They said Pacquiao from the hood. And Pacquiao is from the hood, from, from, from the Filipino hood. You know, obviously, they slept on Pacquiao. So, like I said, you don't want, you know, we always need that character, though, in boxing. We don't, I don't believe we have that. You know, who who's a trash talker in the game right now other than AB? But AB already kind of, like, <laughs> lost a lot of fights. So, you know, at one point, we had... You know, obviously, Muhammad Ali, that's, he bigger than the sport. Then, um, Roy Jones wasn't much of a talker. Um, damn, name's just slipping out of my mind. Drop below to get smarter by the day. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't. You know what I'm saying? Listen to these casual fans. But follow me at Aki TV on Instagram as well. Just, uh, I'm going to leave it on the description box below uh, later on where I upload this video. But, yeah, I got... My heart say Pacquiao, my mind say Keith Thurman, you know. So I go, obviously, I ain't going to be thinking with my feelings. I got to put my feelings to the side. Uh, I think Keith Thurman going to edge this. But I do want Pacquiao to win because, like I said, Keith Thurman, he been doing a lot of this, but not much action. You know what I mean? So uh, I'll keep you updated. Uh, I've